Hi, welcome to Being Mindful. I'm Susan. I'm a licensed mental health counselor, and I have been practicing mindfulness meditation for quite some time and really enjoy sharing practices and possibilities with others. In today's meditation, we are meditating on a poem that has been a favorite of mine for many years. What we'll do is read through the poem several times, and in the moments that follow, I'll invite you to consider different experiences and aspects of the words that we're sharing. The poem itself is in the description. So if you're the kind of person who needs to see the words as you're hearing them, I'll invite you to expand the description and, and take a look read along with me. If you prefer to listen, you can have your eyes closed, have them open, whatever works for you. So let's get started. So as we begin, I'll invite you as always to move in whatever way would make you feel comfortable as you approach this time, sensing the ground beneath your feet, the body supported by whatever furniture is holding it up, or the ground itself. If closing your eyes is comfortable for you and it helps you to hear the words of the poetry in a richer way, I'll invite you to do that. But if reading the words along with me is preferable to you, that's fine to you. But before we get into reading the poetry, let's just take a moment to become present to what's happening right now by listening for sounds that are happening around you, noticing the feeling of contact with the chair or the floor, noticing the sensation of breath, Noticing any thoughts that are coming up about what you could be doing instead or what has already happened, what is to come. And allow them to just move into the background while we focus on some new words. I'm reading The Guest House by Rumi. I'll read it several times. The first time, just take in the poem as a whole. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. I'll read the poem a second time and invite you to notice a word or phrase that is calling to you, that is resonating for you. 
and to especially pay attention to those words. And in the moments that follow, just allow those words, that word to percolate, to sit with it. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice. Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. And as I read these words a third time, I'll invite you to consider a possible change, an action, internal or external, that these words are calling you to. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond.
as I read these words one last time, I'll invite you to begin to return to your space, to move, to notice what you can feel with your senses. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture, still treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice, meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whatever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. As we enter into this time of reflection, there's some reflection that happened during the meditation itself, but now I invite you just to consider what words, what ideas you want to carry with you from this powerful poem. How do you want to make sure that you retain some of the insight and benefit that you may have received when you did this meditation? I would love to hear in the comments what words or phrases resonated for you, what you're carrying from this time together. If you're not already subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing that so that you can join future meditations. And if you click the bell, you can get notified when a new one's available. Thanks so much. Have a great day.